to by Jacksonville State University. Welcome back. Lots of action in Hoover today for day two of the SEC Media Days. I'm Charity Chambers alongside Kayla Carlisle. Now, four teams took the stage today Georgia, Ole Miss, Texas AM, and Tennessee. But of course, our sides were really kind of set on Tennessee. Yeah, exactly. And that's because Tennessee didn't have the season that a lot of fans and players were hoping for last year. Now, this year, Pruitt and players made sure to tell us that an empire isn't built overnight. The construction began last year when Rainsville native and former Alabama defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt took over the Vols program. Pruitt took the reins after the Vols failed to win any conference games the year before, so you could say last year was definitely an improvement as they won two SEC games in Pruitt's first year as the head coach. Knowing what you're going to get from them day in and day out and the expectations, um, it, 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 it's, it's easier to kind of pull together. Uh, obviously, after being there for 18 months, Everybody in our program kind of understands what's expected um, day in and day out. So we're, we're, we're headed in the right direction and we're headed there in a hurry. One of the first steps Coach has taken to rebuild his program is with the offensive line. Earlier this year, Coach announced Georgia's Jim Chaney would be the Vols' new OC. Chaney is known for producing top-notch QBs throughout his career, something the Vols haven't seen since 2012 with Tyler Bray. We only had one spring together, but it's been very impactful. and and very good spring for us and throughout the whole spring it's been a lot of different things with terminology and different and a completely different offense but i'm starting to get the hang of it we really meet a lot as, as just me and him throughout the days and i'm definitely happy that he's here and he's had a lot of success throughout his tra track record so I'm excited about that, and I'm excited that he's also my offensive coordinator. Now, defensively, the Vols have a couple of good guys returning. We actually talked to a couple of them today, Daniel Batuli being one of them. He actually led the Vols in tackles the past couple of years. He's hoping to be a little more consistent, though. We also got a chance to talk to Daryl Taylor, who's proven to be one of the more prominent linebackers in the SEC, really kind of had a breakout year last year. He said he's hoping to build on that and maybe even make the team a contender for the SEC East title. Talk about a bold statement right oh, yeah. there. <laughs> anyway, that's going to wrap things up for day two here in Hoover for the SEC Media Days. Tomorrow we continue on with day three with the Alabama Crimson Tide along with a local player who plays for Mississippi State. We'll hear from him plus much more coming up tomorrow night on WZDX News at 9. That's going to do it for us here in Hoover. We'll be right back.